This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, a square room has a 15 foot long wall. What is its floor area? Again, on the actual ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a calculator or a reference sheet. So in addition to memorizing these basic formulas, you also have to be able to work out these problems by hand. Now let's talk about some general properties of squares that you're probably taught in elementary school. The first of which is that all the sides in a square are equal. According to this problem, uh, one of these walls is 15 feet long. But since we're talking about a square, if one of the walls is 15 feet long, that means all these other walls are going to be 15 feet long. All right, so how do we find the area of a square? Well, it's going to be its side length times its side length. And of course, S times S is the same thing as S squared. You can use either one of these formulas. Um, they mean the same thing. And we know the side length of our square is 15. So this becomes area equals 15 squared. And again, on test day, if you're a little bit nervous and you don't have this memorized, I would work this off to the side. Again, we have 15 squared, which is the same thing as 15 times 15. 5 times 5 is going to be uh, 25. So bring down a 5, carry a 2. 1 times 5 is 5 plus 2 is 7. Before you start multiplication with this 1, bring in a 0 placeholder. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1. Let's add this up. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12, carry a 1. Uh, 1 plus 1 is 2. So the area of this room is 225 square feet, which is answer choice C, of course.